This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social, an association with Empire Fight Store, here with the main man at the minute uh, in the UK, Mr Felix Cash. How are you, bro? I'm not too bad, guys. What's happening? Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Thank you for having me down here today. Um, just been watching you training today. Looking good, mate. Happy to be in the gym in the new year, I take it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're fighting for this uh, European title, EBU title, so... Back in the gym, getting ready now. Should have a date in the next week. My show is going to be on. It's looking like April first. I'm here, but we'll um, we'll know we we'll know in the next week or so. Well, Felix, let's sort of uh, go into this a little bit because obviously we saw that in Leeds. Um, I suppose firstly, I'll put it to you. We'll, we'll go into the ammo stuff, but how how do you reflect on on your performance there as a whole and um, sort of the experience at Leeds and everything that went on with ammo afterwards? <laughs> now, listen, it was uh, listen. What a mediocre open performance by me. Like the first first person to say that, you know. What I mean, it won a it won a it won a good performance. But listen, uh, you know, I'll be back. I was out of ring a long time and not making excuses anyway. It was just a bad night in the office. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, we're, um, we're fighting for this European title. I'm going to fight, fight for the European, uh, smash this geezer. I'm that jackass, uh, Amma Williams, he, he'll be getting in the summer. So, you know, I've signed the contract. So just get get uh, get this European fight out of the way and uh, then we'll, um, we'll sort him out. Well, we'll go into that one by one. Um, just on the performance as a whole, I think it's important you say uh, you're the first one to admit it, but I spoke to Jordan Thompson earlier and, you know, you have a couple of good fights and you're like, oh, the hottest prospect and then you have a bad fight and everyone doubts you all of a sudden. Um, for you yourself, you know, this is something that you just have to take the rough or the smooth, don't you? You go back into yeah. training, like you say, you had a long layoff, the same yeah. with, the same sort of thing with Jordan, had a bit of a, yeah. a different performance. you just got to go again and regroup. Yeah, exactly, 100%. Uh, listen, uh, you know, you have bad days in Spain. It's hard to go for fights like that, the fellow yeah. I was in with too, you know what I mean? I, I think with me, I need I need someone that that's going to, you know, test me and get me, you know, get me fired up. Yeah. Um, I just went, basically went through emotions in there, you know what I mean? But... Um, anyway, the next fight's uh, uh, for, it's Matt Signiani and uh, you know he's tough, strong. You know he's very experienced, well seasoned. So you know I'll have to be uh, be on the ball and better than I was in Leeds and uh, and uh, get a win on him. Do you feel like that's sort of a, a good fight maybe to have before Ammo? Obviously he's got the European title, which is something that you'll want to achieve himself. But also sort of a, a bit of a strange champion in the mix because a lot of people have looked at it and been like, who is this guy? I think he's 41, but he's a European champion, had some good performances. Um, do you see it as, you won't see it as a stepping stone, but obviously you'll see it as someone that you believe and um, that you'll get through. What do you make of him? Listen, like I said, he's tough and he's strong. You know, he's he's very, he's very experienced. He's you know he's uh, you know he's a decent fighter. You know, he's knocked out his last opponent um, to win the European title. So, listen, he's no mug. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to go in there and uh, you know train 100 percent in this camp and uh, and get a win over him. I definitely think I'll beat him. Um, uh, but you know, I'll have to. I'll have to be on the ball. You mentioned the quote-unquote Jack and Ammo Williams. Um, I, I believe you said you've signed to fight in the summer, so that clears up any rumour online because I've seen a little bit online saying that you're fighting the EBU and avoiding Ammo. That's your sort of no, response. Listen, that fight's listen, happening. Listen, definitely not avoiding. Listen, I ain't been busy enough, um, and, and that's the truth. I want, and I always, I'm mandatory for the European title. I'm not fighting Ammo Williams for a world title or anything. Yeah. You know, if I'm fighting for a world title or, or, or you know, a final eliminator, it would have been completely different. I would have. I wouldn't have took the European title, so there's no, there's no duck in there. Um, it was just, you know, it makes sense for me to get another fight underneath my belt, pick up the European title. At the end of the day, I won the British, won the Commonwealth, pick up the European title. You know, it's it's the three, yeah. it's the three major That's titles, an I, and, and I'm mandatory. I'm, I'm, I, the face, it's not like I'm going hunting the geezer when I'm not mandatory. The geezer's got to fight me, so. You know, I think it was a no-brainer. I can, you know, as long as, I, as long as obviously I've got to win. <laughs> but I mean, Still get that fight, it was get that yeah. fight, win, get that fight in, and keep busy this year. Get that fight in, fight Ammo in, in in the summer, in June, July, and uh, ready, to, and then ready to go from there. Felix, you won't want to overlook anyone, um, especially your, not your next fight. But I suppose with everything that happened with Ammo and him turning up in Leeds and and what happened there, that's a fight that you can really get your teeth into. And I think one that maybe your first fight where you're able to sort of sell yourself as a bit of a star as well. Do you think? Exactly. When you're fighting these fellas, you know it's always good when someone's having a bit, a bit going go back, back back and forth, sell giving a fight, a, sell yeah. a fight and give each other a stick. And I think that one will be with very interest. <laughs> I think the build up to that fight uh, after the European title, obviously everything goes well. Uh, I think it'll be, everyone, will be, everyone will be in for some entertainment, I'll tell you that. 
Um, look, just a couple of words on the gym as a whole. We've got Joey, obviously, looking to be out in April to regain that IBF world title against Rakimov. Craig Richards, who's been in today. Uh, George and Maisie signing long-term deals with Matchroom. Um, Jordan Thompson in the gym. Liam Reardon from Love Island, almost like uh, Dempsey McKean, whose name's been thrown about for AJ. The list goes on. I've probably missed a few, but serious bunch of lads in there. Listen, we're all serious trainers. We're all top athletes, you know what I mean? We're all training very hard and... Uh... Listen, we have a laugh and a joke in there too, and we're all friends in there too. So, listen, it's good atmosphere in the gym, and uh, you know, happy atmosphere. It's like going to work every day. If you're not happy when you're going to work, it's no good. So, yeah, no, listen, it's, uh, it's, it's a good gym and a good, good bunch of lads in there. Felix, top man, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social. Uh, we've got Joey in the back here. Um, look, just a word to supporters ahead of 2023, a big year for yourself. Listen, I'll be back to my best this year, and uh, we'll. Uh, that jackass, Samuel Williams, will be getting it and uh, we'll pick up this European title. Felix, top man, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social.